pure gym, as the name suggests, is purely a gym. So we don't have a swimming pool, we don't have a sauna, steam rooms, anything like that. Um, we've got 230 gyms across the UK. We've got over a million members now, which is fantastic. I see ourselves as a differentiator in the market, a disruptor, and this enables us to be able to uh, open lots of gyms for people and make it super convenient. When we decided to build out the website um, back in October 2015, we took the decision to have continuous delivery. And we took the decision to um, go into the cloud. At that point, the cloud was at a point where we were able to leverage that capability. So we looked at how we might go about doing that. So the benefit of that is the fact that we can uh, fire up new web servers really quickly and easily. We've created a template system whereby at a couple of clicks of the mouse, you can then create a brand new web server. That's really beneficial to us because uh, when we go onto TV, we need to create a lot of servers quite quickly. Uh, and then when you come off that TV uh, advertising campaign, you then bring it back down again. We take security really seriously at Pure Gym. We, uh, I include it within our trade pack on a weekly basis. I include it in my board report. And we include it in the CEO's report to the investors as well. So firstly, it's a, it's a high priority for us. Um, we've taken uh, many steps in terms of making sure we're on top of security. We work with PwC that carry out a review of our security uh, processes and they um, report very strongly on the fact that we've got a low risk within the business. So that's really good. Uh, we've also taken the trouble to get the software engineers to work on a hack yourself first course. And that means that they really understand what people could potentially do to um, you know, impact our business from um, a bad act or something like that. So getting into that mindset means that they build code that's very much looking after that side of things. One of the things that we do within the team is make sure we have a team dedicated to looking at technical debt. So despite the fact that we've launched the website in 2016, we um, have a large portion of the team that are looking after and addressing the um, uh, libraries to make sure they're all up to date um, and any of the third parties that we use and just continually make sure that we address those things and also looking at our code base as we continue to grow the business and grow the team we need to make sure that the uh, architecture is supportive of that.